Alright, uh, this is the second part of the video where I kind of suspected that people would feel that there's no way that you can possibly put all of this into those two bags. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So let's first start off with the 70 to 200 Mark II with the gripped 5D Mark uh, gripped 5D Mark II. This is also a stereo microphone that I like to have. That's called the Jembird mic, and it's a really nice little portable microphone that just gives you better stereo sound. So that fits right in the middle of the flip side 300, right there. And yes, the low bar flip side 300 can fit a gripped body. It will rub against the top part. Let me see if I can see it here. So it will rub right here. So don't run with the flip side and a gripped camera body because you will wear down your bag. Uh, so next is the Canon 50mm 1.4. This slides in the bottom. Next is the Canon 100mm 2.8 and this slides right next to the 50mm 1.4. Next is the 16 or 35 Mark II and this slides right here. You're, you're probably wondering that why there's no spacers or padded spacers in this bag and you'll see exactly why because I'm pretty much trying to cram as much stuff in here as possible. Next are my extension tubes, and this fits right in this little space right here. There's also a little Velcro piece, or Velcro strap that I put in myself, and this just secures the extension tubes right there. Next is um, my Canon 580 EX Speedlight, and also... The black foamy thing and where are you? Where are you, Jones? There we go. Nope, nope, just fell. I'm gonna get you. Hang on. So close. Okay, gotcha. Okay, next is where I use my pop up card or my fill card with my orange tungsten gels. And this slides on the right side here. Let me just double check that I can see it. Yeah. Okay. So this slides right in here. Okay. And the black foamy thingy, since it's such a small compact diffuser, slides all the way down into the bottom. And the 580 EX Speedlight slides right on in. That's a lot of stuff, right? But we keep going. Next is the Limicus 8020, and this slides right on top. And now we go to the accessories. Okay. Next we have our batteries. So here are the AA batteries, and these go in first because they're not usually something that I access a lot. Ah, uh, I just spilled everything. Uh, I do have a cleaning lens cleaning cloth here. So these slide right on the bottom. Let me take care of this really quick. So again, these are double A batteries and rubber bands for the quick bounce cards and a battery for the remote, the time-lapse remote that I use. Okay. That goes in here. Batteries also go in here as well. And I might need to push this down. There we go. Next, my camera batteries slide right on in. Next, I have my filters, and my filters slide right in on top. So I usually separate this, the Velcro right here, and then just kind of wedge in my filters here, and they fit nice and snug, and they're actually out of the way too. So that's it for the accessories, and that's it for um, that part. Now for the top part of the Flipside 300, and that includes yikes. Okay, that's the top compartment. So I keep my manuals here, or my papers here, so 
that slides in here. Or if I'm feeling bold, I can always put my filters up here as well. But I like to keep them up top so that they are nice and protected. Uh, the Cyber Commander also fits... Actually, where does the Cyber Commander fit? I don't know. Okay, I usually... Uh, the Cyber Commander fits in another case. Okay. And so that is pretty much it for just the flip side 300. And yes, this can close. You have to zip the one side first, usually the right side, and then the left side. It's a tough fit, but all of that just fit right into the flip side 300. And also, I just wanted to mention that this is a padded strap for the flip side. And this is something that I highly, highly recommend that if you're carrying a lot of gear that you find one of these. These are laptop cushions and they just slide right on in through the belt right here. And what this does is it, ex it spreads out the weight from the flip side so that when you're in flip mode, the weight isn't pushed on all on your lower back. So anyway, this is the flip side 300. Oh wait, I'm not done, haha. -ha. So on the right side, there is a water bottle holder. And I do keep a bottle of water always because it's best to be hydrated and stay hydrated rather than to be, you know, thirsty, tired, and fatigued. This is a little light. This is called the NI light. And this is an LED light. It's, it's a very soft LED light, but it's nice to have. And I got this from REI, which is really cool. Usually this light goes on jackets. So if you're hiking in the night, you can see uh, other people's reflections. So let's look at the side compartment. Um, there are two spots for my compact flashcards. So those go immediately get taken up. Shove them in there, and they have their own little nice little flaps. Next is a plastic trash bag. And this plastic trash bag is usually for emergency cases where if I'm shooting in weather and it starts to rain all of a sudden, I have that with me. Usually when it starts raining, I'm not the type of person to run outside in the rain and start taking pictures. I'd rather not lose my entire gear due to rain. Uh, also, I do have granola bars, and granola bars are essential, absolutely essential when you're shooting all-day events like weddings, because when you're shooting and you're hungry and you get hungry and there's no time to go run around and uh, get food, it's always nice to have a little pick-me-upper like a granola bar, and they're squishable, so they fit right into your camera bag. And there it is, right? I also have a pen that I just slide in. There's also another pen. I use light plastic pens because they keep the weight down. That's my CPS card. Also, I have a badge holder, name badge. And that slides on the outside right here. Uh, uh, just a comb, just in case. Just, for, just in case, you never know when you need a comb. Uh, some post-its. Post-its are always nice to have. Um, I also have my contact information there, so just in case. And that is pretty much everything that goes in this side pocket. I haven't done my business card yet, so they would also go in here as well. And where are the rest of them? Ah, the USB jump drive slides right on in. And that covers the Low Pro flip side 300. I also have a utility knife just in case if I'm hiking and I need to cut something. Nice and handy to have. Always nice to have a knife. And also I have a Zune um, camera wipe that also just kind of, so whenever I'm hiking and changing lenses, this is really, really nice to have. But if you get dirt on it, then it kind of scratches your lenses, so that's also a little worry. Oh, I forgot. I just realized. On the inside flap, I didn't put anything in here, and that's because 
that's where my emergency contacts, uh, worst case scenario, so inside I have a quick little draft of a photographer contract. It's just like a one page T for P, TFP sort of deal. And also a photographer's, the photographer's right worksheet. So let me see if I can show that right here. I printed this off a website and it basically shows the rights that you have as a photographer. So if a police officer comes by and starts harassing you, you show this, you show them this, and then you start explaining your rights as a photographer to shoot in public open spaces. Uh, it's also your duty to know that if you're shooting on a private property, that you're not, even though you're in a public place, um, there are limitations to what you can and cannot do. And also, that's also where I slide these index cards as my emergency, or notes, or just emergency DIY bank card. So all that fits in the low pro flip slide. And like you guessed it, the rest of it goes into the exchange messenger. And here's the exchange messenger, and you notice that it starts very light. I start off with some granola bars on the inside pockets here, and on the zippered portion, I put in my compact flashcards, because these are some things that you don't want to lose, and they have a zipper pocket. There's a zipper pocket. Additionally, the uh, Young Now SF18, I believe, goes in here. And that's, this is what I use for auxiliary um, off-camera flash. So if I'm using just one speed light off-camera, that's where I, what I use this for. Uh, this is also my Rokin on 35mm 1.4. And I actually do not fit, carry my Young No, or I'm sorry, the W96 LED battery pack around with me. I only use that for event type cases, so that's a rarity. And anyway, this is also a little lens cleaning cloth. Also a little, I forget what this is called. Uh, it's just a diffuser for flash. And that pretty much cleans out the low pro order case. So the only things I didn't fit was this. And this, so this is my low pro exchange messenger. You have my speed light, 580 XP light, auxiliary battery, rocking on 35 millimeter 1.4. And that's what I use to change uh, lenses and stuff. So that's in my exchange messenger. And I also forgot some accessories that I need to put in the flip side 300. So the accessories that I forgot to put in are my wireless remote and my time-lapse remote, and those go in on the top, below my batteries, because these are a low-priority ticket item. I usually don't carry these with me on weddings and events. Uh, usually I do carry the remote, because it is nice to have, maybe if I'm in the picture, or trying to be in the picture, but usually it's not something I carry around with me. So those slide right in. Miscellaneous gels. Also slide in here. Okay. <sighs> Whew. That's a lot of work. And lastly, I forgot that this USB generic card reader also slides in on the right side as well. So proof that you can and that I do fit all of my gear in two bags with the exception of this W96 light. So that's it and thanks for watching.